from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the stock markets. And you can see that the S&P 500 initially pulled back during the day on um, Monday here. But we're right at this area where we broke down significantly from. This is really playing with fire if you're trying to buy here. Buying a pullback is a different story. Now, if we can break through the top of this rectangle, which is basically 29.40, then okay, fine. But I think we've got a lot of work here. If we break down below the candlestick for the day, that's technically a hanging man. Although I'm not prepared to short that. I think that just shows we've got further to go. And quite frankly, that'd be good news on that pullback to buy maybe somewhere closer to 2850 or even 2800. Over here in the NASDAQ 100, it looks a little healthier, but we're right there at resistance. 7500 should be support. 7400, 72 and a half. I want to see a pullback that I can take advantage of. If we do get some type of melt up in the markets, though, it's uh, very likely going to start over here. So pay attention to the NASDAQ 100, whether you're trading it or not.